it's Valerie. Um, I think it's Wednesday. And today we're going to um, draw ourselves a tractor. And um, I guess I'm ready to get started. Mom, you ready to get started? Nobody's on. Oh, Ruby's watching. All right. Hey, Ruby, you're ready? You're ready to get started. Um, the thing about this tractor is that when you first look at it, it looks very complicated. There's lots of little things all over the place and, and that can be immediately sort of frustrating. So what I want to do today is sort of show you how you break it down very simply. Okay. I've already looked at it, drawn it a few times. So I think I have a plan, but when you're doing it yourself, you know, s start by just, you know, taking part of it away and simplifying what's here. You know, obviously we have, you know, we want to know what's going on. We have two, the two tires, you know, one super big, one smaller. We need to think a little bit about the distance apart so that we have enough room to put what's going on between the two um, wheels. Um, we can fit this stuff in there. We want to know how big to make the cab, which is, I think, about the size of the front tire. And the front tire is, eh, you know, a little more than half the size of the first one. One of the other things I want you to notice, sometimes it's hard to be able to do a big perfect circle, okay? So, um, you know, when in doubt, what I, what I do is I make a, the rainbow shape and then I add the smile shape on the bottom and I just make it in two parts. On this one, because it's in the grass, and I'm going to maybe even have it be slightly taller grass or hay, um, we don't even have to draw the bottom part of it. We're going to have just a straight line. We're going to draw that circle out around that. And that'll make that easier. You don't have to worry about getting the perfect shape. Okay, are we ready to get started, Daphne? We are ready. Okay, we're ready to do it. Like usual, when I'm starting out a drawing, I want to do it with something lighter because I don't expect to get everything just right. I, I might, you know, totally flub it up. And again, you can flip your piece of paper over or, um, you know, try that before you just get a new one. Let's let's re reuse, redo, reduce, recycle. Um, or just draw it a little bit lighter and then just correct it because a lot of this picture is going to be dark. There's no reason why you can't draw over something just because you made one little mark in the wrong place. It's not a big deal. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line where I think the bottom of the tractor is going to be. Um, I can't make it a lot bigger than it is here. So I'm going to go with similar proportions on my other piece of paper. I'm going to do one in color here and I'm going to do one in black and white down here. Um, so I'm going to go up maybe a couple of inches from the bottom and I'm going to sketch across a line. I'll, I'll do it a little bit darker so you can definitely see it, but try to do this beginning part as lightly as you can. That's sort of the secret to be getting better at drawing is to learn, actually I'll do it darker, um, is to learn how to control how darkly and how lightly that you draw something. Okay. Now to get, um, I had know nothing about tractors. So I don't know what any of these parts are called, but I'm going to call this the plow part. And um, to get this to fit in, we want to get this back tire as close to the left side of your paper as, as possible. It doesn't have to be touching it, but we want to get it over here. You don't want a great big space like this. There's nothing happening back here, nothing interesting. And if anything, we want a little extra space on this side. So just get this tire. We're going to get this way over here. Okay. If you're probably decide about how big you want um, this part to be. You know, look and see where you think that ought to be. Better, bigger than small. I mean, we want a big, big tires. So I give myself a mark maybe about there, and then I'm gonna round this around. I'm gonna give myself a nice big tire. But remember, it's not gonna go past that line. That's gonna make it look like it's tucked into the grass a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put the hubcap in there. So I'm thinking about the width of, you know, either that size, but I'm also thinking about how big this part of the tire is, because if I make a hubcap that's only this big, that's really, you know, really big, um, fat tire. Okay. So I'm going to make, I'm going to think about, maybe it's right about here. Maybe I want to mark that in a couple of different spots. Cause again, down here, it's going to be a little bit different. Okay. All right. I want to do the other, other wheel. So what I want to do is figure out how, what this is a similar distance, this distance right here, uh, that I've already done. It's about, well, it's a little, little more than half of the size of my tire. I guess it's about like this. Okay. Two thirds. 
There's a little little fraction for you to work on. If you don't know your fractions, you can try to figure out what two-thirds means later on. That would be good for your homeschooling. Okay, measure here. I'm going to go over and I'm going to say that's about where that tire, the edge of that tire is going to go. Okay, the top of this in relationship to this is just a little bit lower. It's not way lower, but it's a little bit lower. So I'm going to say right around here. As long as I have a pretty good distance in here. Okay, it's going to be kind of like that. And then again, I'm going to put my hubcap in there. You know, and it may or may not touch this line. Because you're not showing the bottom part of the circle, so it's hard to say where the middle is. Okay. The next thing I want to do is to put this line right here that's the front of the cab, okay? It starts about halfway up maybe on the tire. For the old people, that's like 3 o'clock on the clock. Um, and we'll say for the most part it's straight up. From here to here, it's roughly in the middle, okay? So it's a little bit closer to this back tire, but you're just going to look between these two tires around here. You're going to go over about halfway, and I want you to make a line that goes up, okay? Now, the cab, I said I measured, it was about the size of this tire. So if I, I measure what I think this tire would be, that's about where the top of the cab is going to be. It doesn't have to be exact, but that's how you go about figuring something out. You have to, when you're drawing, you have to find something after you get started a little bit and say, okay, you know what? I'm sticking with this. This is what I'm going to base all my proportions off of this part. And from, and from there on out, you're just relating things to that, okay? Not all separate from each other. And the more, you know, and the more everything goes back to the same piece, the more it's going to be a cohesive, you know, cohesively proportionately right, okay? Let's do the back here, all right? This one is um, a little bit near the back end here. It does have a little bit of a slant, probably to make the rain come off. So it's got a little slant like this. And then there's kind of a square window or whatever. This is above the tire, maybe about 1 o'clock. Okay? Kind of like that. I want you to go straight across here, straight across the top. Later on, I'm going to draw this in black. Okay? It does have a little way to step into the cab. So there's a little straight line right here. Okay? So you have your three. Oh, I got to do it down here. <laughs> All right, I'll do it again. That will give you a minute to get this sorted out. So do that much, and I'll do it down in the black and white, okay? All righty. Is Matias going to draw a tractor today, do you know? Yes, yes. All right, yes. so you're in competition? Oh, no, I'm not drawing yet. I have to draw my sketch. Oh, okay. There we go. All right. This one slants a little bit. This one's about here, 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 here. Do they look the same? Yes. Okay. All right. Now, okay, so we've done this much. The next thing I want to do is to start putting in all the, the orange part. So pick whatever color you want your tractor to be. I am going to go with a reddish orange. And again, we want to break it down to little parts. For now, don't think about this. Just, just forget all about the front of the tractor. And you see where there's the two pieces of orange and then there's a little bit here for a light. Okay, so just thinking about that. It's skinny though. We're going to go across the top with a skinny little line of orange or whatever color you're using, okay? And then the other piece sticks out a little bit off the back. That's so you don't spray mud up on the back, All right? I think anyway. Right, Daphne? Right. Daphne knows a lot about trucks. She's like a gearhead. <laughs> <laughs> um, Daphne needs to ride with a pillow in my car so she can touch the pedals. Don't expose me like that. <laughs> but that's partly because the seat doesn't move. Uh, I got my, entirely because I've the seat got a doesn't 2000 move. Lincoln Continental because <laughs> I ride in style. Okay, does that look right? That looks right. So far, so good. Okay, so you're having sort of just a piece that wraps around the, the wheel here. Okay, now stop thinking about this, and we're thinking about just this part in the middle. All right, don't think about anything else. 
We'll start with this one right here. It's a little rectangle. It doesn't go very long. Try to make it short because otherwise you won't have room for this piece right here. And this lines up pretty close to the top of the tire, like right about here. So this is like the hood, right? I think, I don't know. So it's just a little rectangle right there. All right? Now the next piece, for the most part, is just a piece that goes up and down. It does have some little shape changes to it, but don't think about that right now. Just think about a rectangle. So it starts a little bit above here. It's going to go down um, pretty, a, a little, well, I guess I made that a little bit low, but it's going to go down to about here. So we're going to make a line that comes right down like this and maybe make that to as much room as you have. Just make that a rectangle in there. If you don't have much room, just make it a line. This isn't a real tractor. This is just a picture of it. And this isn't for the like owner's manual of how to fix it. This is just a drawing. This is just for fun. Okay. Okay. So we've got this. Piece is a little taller. goes down this far. All right. The next thing we're going to do. Oh, let me do that over here. Um, so it's a little, a little different today because I have all these little light spots. I'm not going to how exactly I'm going to do this, but I'll figure something out. Okay, kind of like that. Um, I want the little piece here. It's going to come down. It's going to go up, over, sort of like that. All right. I'll make the orange parts here a little smudged. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is this little, like, I think it's sort of a spring. Oh, I know. It's um a shock absorber, maybe? I don't know. Okay. This is going to go right across the tie, just right above it. There's going to be kind of a skinny line that runs right across like that. Okay. Now, right above it is sort of a triangle shape. Okay. So we're going to come here. We're thinking about the black space in the middle. That's called the negative space. And that helps us to know what we're doing with the actual orange part by saying, oh, it's a skinny rectangle. So I'm going to draw a skinny rectangle like that. Okay. And then I have a little um, thicker piece that runs on top right out like that. I'm going to add that on. All right. And notice that these are going in front of the tire, or at least almost to this outside of the tire. Okay. Before we put the... What do you think it is? The hull or something? Is somebody saying? Does anybody know? No. I better lean known. What is the problem? Stuff. What this is called? Okay. The arm. <laughs> 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 All right. We're gonna, I'm gonna put a little short line right here because you see you have this other piece here. That's probably part of the hydraulics. I do know a little bit about that because <laughs> I run the plow truck. You know, like you're. Pull this one in, that one has to open up, and then you pull this one in, that one opens up. <laughs> it's really a lesson on how tractors work, not an art lesson. All I know is that that has something to do, do with it. Pneumatics. Hell yeah. Yeah, look that one up too, homeschooling kids, right there. Okay, I'm going to have a line across there. Okay. What? All right, and then I want on the back here, while well, I still have my orange... Don't let me forget, I want to put a little reflector. Oh, yep. All right, we're going to do this part in the front, whatever that's called. So I'm going to draw a line that's right in front of the tire that comes down. Don't neglect your charcoal drawing. Oh, yeah. And one like this. Okay. There we go. Thank you for reminding me. We're going to go that far. All right, so right across. Skinny one right across. Make myself the little triangle. Oh, this needs a little more on the top, probably. Um, I'm going to make this piece. Bring this guy up. It's going to be a... The hood's going to be in the guy's line of sight when he's driving. It's not so easy. He'll have to be tall like me. A tall farmer. Or... Hot. Is, is farmer um, girl and boy? I think so. Farm... <laughs> farm. Farmerette. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to have much room for my little thing out here. So, but, but All right, so I'll leave that for now because that's going to be black. Oh, I know. Before we do the background, um, we're going to put the hubcap in. 
know, if you want to change it up, use some different colors, you know, again, it's your picture. We're a long way from anything orange around here, that's for sure. An orange tractor? No, I mean like color-wise. You know, there's nothing orange outside right now. It's snowed again. Okay, um, I'm going to take an ochre. All right, and this is going to be my, you know, hay field here. And I'm also going to to put this right up here. Okay, so it's going to be under in this little space between the wheels. If you don't feel like coloring in background, then... You know, just hang on a minute. If I'm doing a paint and sip, that's when I tell people to have a drink, but. We'll do that too. Um, you could have water. Drink some why water. Can't you that's drink always good. You're in quarantine. Why can't you have a drink? Well, you can, but I don't think there's a lot of people that are <laughs> drinking wine and drawing this truck today, but perhaps I'm wrong. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Everything's mixed up. Who knows, maybe you've been up for, you know, 12 hours already. 12 o'clock is... <laughs> other people. You woke up at 1. <laughs> or, um, well, what do they say? 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock somewhere. All right. Okay. That's... Now he's buried in here a little bit. Down here, um, I'm going to put a little shading. I think what I forgot. I forgot I put this little guy back here. Okay, here, here, just a little something. Um, I like to give myself a little hay texture here. Wow. This is kind of long grass. Actually, I took this picture in a hay field up the road. It's part of the University of Maine of Orono, where I walk my dog and my kids. <laughs> And um, that was last summer because they hay the field and the tractors were out there. And this one had something on the back too, but there wasn't enough room for that. Okay, there's that. I am going to put a little bit of green in here. The thing I want, really want just to have you notice is that when you have windows in your car or your tractor, they're not white. I mean, unless they have a shade pulled inside and they're in their white or they're somehow reflecting white or there is a white sky behind them they're not and they're they're going to be whatever color is behind this okay but maybe a little bit different and in this case um, i think what i'm gonna do um i think what i'm gonna do is this i'm going to color this in with the same color I'm going to use on the background, but I think what I'm going to do is put a little white. I'm going to blend a little white on there. I was going to use a different color, but I think this is better. This is a, it doesn't really matter. This is all busted up. Um, it doesn't really matter what you do, just as long as it's something different, and it should be whatever the color is that's behind it. Okay, so I'm going to take a white. And, and blend this. And that way, hopefully, it'll look, you know, it'll look a little bit like, um, like windows. And, and like it's reflecting the light, but it's still see-through. I'm not drawing the person inside. Generally, in a situation like this, it would be pretty dark, probably pretty hard to see a person in there anyway. But there isn't one in this one, because it was after hours. What do do for the chocolate? The farmer had gone home. What am I do for that? I'll do it in a second. Okay. We'll do this. I'll do the charcoal one. We'll throw some black on it. Talk some we black will out. have done it. So this is the one part to place to be careful is between these little parts in the front because this is helpful to like defining and making if you have a nice dark green against this lighter orange it's going to be a nice contrast. And that will help you to see all the little parts of it. Okay? Okay. okay. We can fit the, all the black things, we can just draw over everything else. So that will be great. That will 
pull everything together. Um, I'm going to go carefully around the important parts of my tractor, tractor, as we say in Maine, a tractor. Parts of Maine, though, probably not in the county. They probably say a tractor up there. Those Suppose. Bangor has kind of the crappiest main accent, I think. Don't you think so? I have probably. <sighs> I haven't had to hear it too much. There we go. Veronica hasn't come back. Does that mean she's still helping no. my mom? Yep. Mom, ma'am, mama. Mommy, mama. Okay. Mama. Ruby's still drawing, though. At least I get my family. So if you're out there, let me know. Show me your pictures. That way I know that you're out there watching. Ryan and the Sometimes kids. it looks like on Facebook like the entire world is watching, <laughs> which I kind of don't believe. But um, uh, I know there's I know there's more people than are just liking the page. I do know that. All right. Oh, down here. I'm not going to color all this in. Let's see what I have to do. This is good. I'm not going to do the whole background on this one. I'll right, we'll just smudge a little bit. I'll smudge in here. I might have to get my eraser out in a minute, but we'll just call that good. Okay. You think that's funny? Yeah. Okay. All right, grab your black. I'm going to use my little pastel here. All right. Let's do around the cab first. So we have a nice, and this is a time that maybe you made your gray line in the wrong place. We'll put it where you want it to be. Don't worry about that. If you made it fat before and you want it skinny, just draw it thinner because when you step back from this picture, you're not gonna see all that stuff. Don't forget we have a little step there to get in. Nice little line right here, across here and here. All right. Oh, it does have a little handle on it, and the handle's down low, because that's what happens when you're climbing in. This is how the stairs are. There's a line right here, and there's two little steps on there, like that, okay? We're going to do the tires. If you're a little more uh, advanced, they do have a little, they're a little shading to them just because they're dirty and stuff like that, but that's not important. I think that making them black is probably the best way to do it. Alright. If I go up and down against my gold, it's going to look make it look like there's little bits of grass overlapping it, rather than a straight, smooth line. Okay, we're here. Um, I can make this wheel bell nice and sharp in there. Okay, then I'm going to do this tire. Okay. Um, don't forget that if you want to watch any of the other videos that you've missed, um, they're all on Facebook on my page, or you can go to videos and they're all sitting right there. You can also go on to YouTube. Um, free free drawing classes with Valerie Wallace, fine arts, playlist, and they're all there. Um, and you can share that with people that perhaps don't have Facebook. I don't know how to use it. And let's see, I want this little uh, smokestack thing or whatever it is. And I want my mirror, so it has two little short lines like this. And, okay, I'll do, let you finish that while I do the tires down here. And please share with other, you know, other people that want to learn how to draw. It's great for kids, but it's also, I think there's a few, I don't know, a few ideas. Oh, teenagers, a few teenagers too. I feel like um, there might be a few things that even if you already are pretty experienced, you know, maybe it'll help you just get inspired to get started and then the next thing you know, you'll be, you know, creating your own ideas, but it's an easy way to just get started, okay? Or and you might even learn a few things. I mean, I don't know, I've been teaching for about 15 years. Um, so I had a lot of practice in this kind of thing. 
certainly not the greatest artist or the greatest teacher, but I've got a, I've got a few tricks up my sleeve that might help you out, even if you are pretty experienced. Okay. Little details are the good part. We do those at the end. Okay, so I want to make sure this is solid. This part. Um, I'm going to have this. I want to have my little... I don't know what that is, but... I don't think it's the stink wipe, because it's, that's for it's the, the leech bed. What do you have a septic system? Oh, it, looks kind of, it looks kind of like that. Okay. Um... Here, here. Oh, oh, oh. This is one other. Mm, it's a little hard to do it now, but I kind of forgot. But the orange has a little piece of orange here. It has a little bit that comes here, like a triangle. All right. Um, okay, the, yeah, the little thing on the front kind of goes up. A little cup. What do you call that? Mm. Scoop. Piece off of there like that. Right there's that. Uh, maybe a little. Oops, that's blue. Ah. Okay. Oops, I'm drawing over my other one. Okay, so we had a tractor. I will be posting what we're gonna do tomorrow on my Valerie Walls Fine Arts page shortly, and I'll see you guys at one o'clock. Should I get everything on there? Yeah. More or less? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. See you tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Thank you so much.